The table here shows the number of people who responded yes or no or don't know when asked whether the city council should implement the environmental programs X or Y. Which means 400 people said yes for program X, 200 people said no for program X and 400 said do not know. If you add the those then it is 1000 that means the 1000 responses are for X and 1000 responses similarly are for program Y. The question is what was the number of people who did not respond yes to implementing either of the two programs? Okay, that means we have to count the total people who did not respond yes. Understand this line, who did not respond yes does not mean who responded no. That means it will also consider people who said don't know. So we can answer this question if out of the total members we could subtract all those who said yes for at least one of the two programs. Because of the remaining people they did not respond yes to either of the two programs. So what we need is all the people who said yes that means we need the union of all the people who said yes which means this is the column that interests us right out of this 400 and 300 we need to know how many are common to answer this particular question let's see the first statement the first statement says that the number of people who responded yes to only program x was 300 okay if out of these 400 300 said yes to only program x that means the remaining 100 must have said yes to program Y as well. That means the yes, the union of yes of program X and Y, X union Y for the answer yes will be equal to 400 plus 300 minus 100 because 100 has come common. Where does that 100 has come from? 400 minus this 300 because 300 have said yes to only x that means 100 people are common to yes for both x and y so the union of x will be equal to 600 that means the people who we want will be equal to who did not say yes will be 1000 minus 600 that is equal to 400 that means the first statement alone is sufficient to answer the question which leaves us with only two choices option a and option d now let's look at the second statement the second statement says that the number of people who responded no to implement the program X and no to implement program Y was 100. So that will tell us the union of no but we do not know any information about don't know and therefore the second statement is clearly not sufficient to answer the question and the final answer to this question will be option A. Now to explain statement 1, I could also represent it using a Venn diagram. I think if that makes it any easier for the viewers. So we have it, the first circle, which has said yes to x. So x yes, y yes, right? For x yes, the total is 400. And this particular part is 300, right? That's what the first statement gives us. The people who said yes to only program x. So this part is 100 and y yes is 300 that means the remaining part is 300 minus 100 200 the union of them will be 600 that's what this calculation has shown in algebraically i hope it explains thank you so much for watching this